the emotional, um, historical uh, history that we have uh, with treating these patients was really based on what is their risk for recurrence. And if it's a high risk for recurrence, we give them chemotherapy. And it's so tied in with our concern about the patient, how much concern do we have, that's how much we give chemotherapy. Because we didn't have a way of targeting chemosensitivity or not, it was just all about risk. So that's why lymph node status was critically important in pushing us uh, in a decision where the patient might have a low risk of hearing primary tumor. Lymph node status would be critical in helping us decide because we were basing our decisions on risk. So when we learned in 2006 that we could in fact target chemosensitivity, the analysis of the B20 study using recurrence score, the 21 gene recurrence score, allowed us to say these patients who had a low score benefited not at all. These patients who had a high score had a lot of benefit. When we averaged all those together, it gave us the um, small benefit we saw overall in the B20 study. But that was a huge change in our understanding. Translating that huge change in understanding to a change in practice is a different matter because we grew up with a very strong uh, emotional attachment to this notion of kind of the kitchen sink for someone at high risk.